Now, one thing that I think pretty much all stars would like you to work on next, if you kind of know, uh, the posts. You hit them every day. <laughs> it's, no, it's impressive, then. You can hit like a tiny little piece of rubber, you know, at very high speeds, but are you really like an uh, idea that you're going to work on accuracy with Jamie Benn or anything like that? I, I think I'm going to have to, absolutely. Uh, you know, it's tough to, uh, to hit a, a post at full speed, and it's, it's more, I guess, the luck of it not going in than it is going in. And, and for myself, I need to find a way to, to make sure those goals come in, but uh, I'd like to say that hopefully I'm saving them for this final quarter of the season and, and into the playoffs because that's what is really going to count for those extra goals. You, you're well known as an agitator. Most hated man in the NHL. I don't think so, but whatever. Because I'm a Stars fan. Right on. I'm biased. We all are. I've heard that you've learned insults and curses in other languages to kind of get, like, you know, the Czechs and the Russians and the Finns and whatnot off their game. Is that true? Well, yeah, back in when I was probably a little bit younger and, you know, an extreme pest, I guess you can say, uh, you know, I'd be battling with my teammates in practice and some of them were Russian or some of them were, you know, Finnish or. Or, or so forth, and, and you know, you, you continue to pick up their language and things that usually bother them, and, and that's how I would use it, and then, and then it ended up being uh, pretty, uh, pretty, I guess you can say, easy uh, easy out of my tongue to those guys in the, in the sense of chirping them back. So you haven't actually gone out and bought tapes, you know? No Rosetta Stones. No, Rosetta Stones. no, no I have just uh, relied off of old teammates, for sure. Teammates? Okay, cool. Now, you do that not to get other people's enforcers off the game, which is kind of you know, pointless, but you do it to get other people's first-line centers off their game. Their team is actually much more valuable. Com completely. You know, you never want to usually mess with the peasant. You want to go after the king, and, and that's something that, uh, you know, I, I try to use, you know, daily, or I guess you'd say per game, is you always go after the high-end guys, and it draws the attention of the rest of the team, and there's no way... No easier way to uh, you know drive your you know opposition crazy, but besides competing with some of their best players. But I'm, I'm not my English, sitting. So. You know, it, off the ice, I is 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 kind of the person I love to be. Is just a happy, easygoing guy, and um, you know, it, on the ice when the you know the the doors close and it's and it's go time, the adrenaline picks up. Uh, it's, it's extremely easy to get competitive, and that's the type of person I am. Obviously, I think if you said something that probably trust me off, I'd probably go crazy. Who knows? But uh, in in my in my uh, surroundings, it's a lot easier to, to be that person. Is there something that gets you amped up before every game, like 17 Red Bulls, or <laughs> no? I'm pretty easy. You know what I? Uh, I just like a, a nice large coffee with a with a sweetener and some half and half, and I'm ready to rock and roll. <laughs>